everyone. Hours away, days away from a week to remember. What is going on, guys? We're watching right now, witnessing some really nice sell-offs. A lot of people are watching. A lot of people are putting their eyeballs into what's going on. And on this one, let's have a conversation. Have great vibes because everyone is welcome. Got a question for you. Once the Bitcoin ETF gets approved, what in the world is going to happen? Will it get approved? Will it get denied? A lot of people have all kinds of options. I have seen denial. I have seen approval. I've seen everything at this point. And I'm not going to leave crypto regardless of the outcome. That's what I can tell you. You can bring the worst in price. I've seen it all already. You cannot defeat us. You cannot defeat me. I don't say that just to sound special or like I know everything because I do not. I say that because I have witnessed $15,000 Bitcoin. I have witnessed some of my most amazing tokens collapse. I have seen them bloody on the streets like nobody want to get it close to them. The good thing is that the good ones that we have talked about, they are coming back little by little. And I feel like the community is more ready than ever. Crypto investors, do not relinquish on yourselves, not on me. I'm going to fail you over and over again. I'm nobody. But you are the ones who do not have to fail yourselves. Welcome, everybody, to another Sunday Night Live. Oscar Ramos in the house. How is everybody doing as soon as you're coming in? The more people get to know this, this stream that is going to get very special. Go ahead and smash the like button, guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on those notification bells. Let's go ahead and get ready. Because, you know, the vibes are why we're here. Ah, price of Bitcoin, the price of Protons, the price of crypto altcoins, some of them collapsing right now. Look, my wallet is bleeding, guys. But we're here. How's everybody doing? Got the waters, got the mindset, got everything ready for us. Queen in the house, Cornell in the house, happy as well. Haru, John, to Jay many more people let's go guys it's bleeding right now it's doing not good who cares i know what i'm buying i know what i'm buying look at this blood on the street all over two digits two percent sixteen percent ten percent go to the prices right now Cut to the chase here and show you. Knows everybody. Oh my. Look at this. There it is. There it is. Like you can clearly see that for you guys. 13% down volume, 4% price. 10 cents all the way to 8.5. It's the hard guys. Another one. Divaino. 6% down. You're seeing that right now on the screen. Shiba Inu, the one that we've been talking about as well. Look at that. The volume is going up, which is good. But the price is down. And guys, when would you like to get in? When it's up or when it's down? LUNC, Terra Luna Classic with the fam, with the members that watch me. It's down too. Market cap is up. Volume is up. 21% down the last seven days. It's painful. It's painful, guys. Those are the good vibes we want. What is going on, everybody? Let me know in the chat. Are you feeling ready? Feeling ready too with the Bitcoin ETF approval vibes? Go ahead and vote. The chat is open. Oh, yes. Will the SEC approve Bitcoin ETF this week? And a lot of people are saying yes. 
pump. Second option, no crash. <laughs> That's what a lot of people want to see. A lot of people want to see that crash, everybody. We love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. So welcome, everybody. Super happy to be here with you once again in another Sunday. I mean, why Bitcoin ETF approval will not be a sell the news event analysts speak out. Um, what we've been talking about in the last couple of chats that we've had it's that we have two major events, right? And we'll go ahead and start talking about number one is the Bitcoin ETF. Number two is going to be the Bitcoin halving. Some people that I've seen on Twitter, and I kind of tend to agree with that, is that we can have the Bitcoin buy the news and you know, pump in this ETF and sell the news in the halving event that is coming up. Not that much, right? Let's go ahead and do the weekly so to really very much understand how we're doing here. And I need to clear all of this. You can say anything, whatever you want about Bitcoin, right? There you go. I think that's a much better way of seeing it. Bitcoin in the last weeks is being consolidated, but still is putting some really nice prices. Francisco, welcome, buddy. You can tell that for weeks, the price of Bitcoin has been growing steady. Guess what? That is really not what's going on with major outcomes that the ones you and I talk. And I can see it because look, look at my portfolio. It was 10,000 plus about two weeks ago. Now it's $8,891. Oh, but I got a lot of NFTs, right? The, the dark lions. What I'm saying, everybody, is like, yes, it's difficult, right? It is not being the best experience if you're holding outcomes right now. Why is it? Well, because, and I have obviously some of the some of the pictures right here that I'll always like to illustrate people, and I'll go ahead and find it for you. Here it is. So this is what's going on for us here in the Alcon crypto market. Bitcoin is the one with the Bitcoin ETF that is gaining all the momentum. Uh, it's racing in the price. It's going through. It's pushing. And that's what we like. Then after that, we're going to have Ethereum. That's the phase two. That is going to be easily 2024 right here. Bitcoin and Ethereum, is, they're going to possibly take all 2024. Uh, to be completely honest with you, the way I see things, Large caps can be getting momentum at the end of 2024. This is going to be an entire year process to finally get to the path of the Alcon season, which the Alcon season, the alt season is phase four. I think 2025 should be and must be the year, the time when our positions, the ones that we're buying right now, I just told you in a video, getting now, right? Because... I mean, wouldn't you like to buy pre-approved Bitcoin? That would be amazing. Pre-approved Bitcoin in the cryptocurrencies that you want. Um, and, you know, most people are probably not going to do it because they just don't want to lose more as they feel that things are going to do much bad. But no one knows. What if once we get approved, which there's a big possibility, Bitcoin does a massive gut candle, and then you are going to be regretting that you didn't get in, right? And I'm not going to take any of the blame because I told you many times. Welcome, Crow fam. Happy to see you here in the house. Welcome, welcome. Bro, I play same music at work. White audio rocks. Love the 80s retro beats. Appreciate that, GSAR. Happy to see you here. Happy to see you here. <laughs> Man. Loving the pullbacks, been sitting on the cash for a while. Good. So a lot of you guys, from what I see, I'm going to go ahead and um, close this one because I think I know a lot of people are getting the message. As we're exiting the, you know, the bear market that decimated everything, which I think for me, it was awesome to live because I needed that personally for my financial journey. Uh, I was too cocky when right here. Right here, I was too cocky. I was like, oh, just the price goes up, right? Great. No, 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 no. I didn't know much. And then I uh, completely learned my lesson. But it's been all of this, and we're finally coming back to, you know, see Bitcoin break the six figure at $100,000. Now, for all of us who are holding the one and only CRO, you're witnessing the price in the weekly right now. 
Profam, shout out if you're here right now. Some of you holding crypto.com, METF, Corgi AI, Pro ID. I got to tell you something, guys. What in the world is this? <laughs> what in the world is that sell off? Look at that. Cannot believe it. It just happened not that long ago. Um, call it whatever you want, but somebody sold fast. Somebody said, you know what? I'm out. And that's what you're seeing here. So a lot of people make great money. They became crypto rich people, either millionaires or so. Now they're cashing out and saying, you know what? I'm out of this. So just to give you an idea of the opportunities, right? Welcome to the new subs. What I'm proposing and what I've, what I've been proposing for a long, long, long time is that we do the 1000% 10x. That is the one dollar for CRO. It is extremely possible. A lot of people tell me that I am too conservative. That I'm not. That I'm not helping investors by saying that it's gonna go to a dollar. Yeah, some YouTubers tell me that. You you believe that? Um, it's okay. Whatever, guys. The point is, it's hard for Crypto.com to break those levels. Let's first get to one dollar, and then after that, see where and how much and how long and, and when could we break the you know further levels ahead. That's the way I think things, right? Because if we go back to Bitcoin, I am not the first one to predict one hundred thousand Bitcoin, right? Let's go ahead and clean this so it looks a little bit better. I'm not the first one to predict one hundred thousand Bitcoin. A lot of people in 2021 and two who predicted that, and it didn't happen. So for us, what we want is to see when it's finally gonna be the catalyst. The catalyst, finally, the news that could take us to those levels is the Bitcoin ETF. It's just what it is, guys. As of right now, a lot of different positions are selling off. I got another one for you, Shiba Inu. You're witnessing right now, Shiba Inu, everybody down right and this is a weekly and you're seeing it right there nothing has changed in the last weeks and months let's go to the day shiva Inu. some of you already are tired of shiva Inu. you're like i don't like the team i don't like this and that i'm out totally feel what you're saying the burns right but we talk about those in the channel and it is what it is solana one of the biggest comebacks of the year 2023 look this was solana at Back in the day, in October, 14 bucks, Solana, at the end of 2023, $122. You can always make money in crypto. This, what Solana just did, is the 1,000%, is the almost 10x, right? That I was saying, like, wow, if Solana can do that, can Kronos do it as well? The answer is yes. We just have to be patient to finally, you know, let our time come. We also have this predictions and analysis from people on the Internet, on Twitter, uh, saying that there's an upcoming breakout for for uh, for Bitcoin. And you're seeing right now on the screen this the crash collapse in early 2024. The comeback right now, this is in the one hour. So that could be a signal of a breakout for Bitcoin. Here's the deal. I don't want to get fall behind. I don't want to be late to the party when Bitcoin gets approved and finally explodes. That's why in my previous videos this week and today, I want to be bullish. I want to believe that our time is here. I have waited a long time not to be bullish. I've waited, paid my dues, kind of restrained myself a little bit, but I cannot do that anymore because all the charts are pointing to if BlackRock, Vanguard, Fidelity, Franklin, and many more, JP Morgan, Coinbase, and all of these institutions are buying and bullish in Bitcoin, then why shouldn't we? Like, it makes no sense, right? If you enjoy what you're hearing, everybody, you know what to do to let everybody know here in the chat and on YouTube. So you're watching here, Oscar Ramos live. BlackRock expects its spot Bitcoin ETF to be approved on Wednesday. Fox Business reports, and 
think a lot of people from that news, you know, from this update, uh, a lot of people are already talking about, we made a video about it, like we are already, you know, preparing for what's to come. Here's the deal. The reason why I put on those four options for you guys, because all of those four, op four options on the chat, those, I mean, any of them, they have a possibility to be likely what's going to end up happening. We could also get approved one and denied another one. Doesn't mean that all of them are going to be approved. I hope they are all approved. But have you considered the possibility of three approved, one deny, two approved, one deny, two deny, one approved, right? Um, the SEC can come with all kinds of results and give a justification to their decision, and that's it. So I'm just open to whatever is going to come. And I'm here to let it happen and see what in the world is going to occur, guys. So exciting news for all of us. Let's go back to the price of Bitcoin right here at $43,000. I'm going to go to the four hours here. And gosh, my portfolio is red, but I'm holding. I'm not selling. And this is what's going to, you know, what's been happening so far. $40,000 to back to 44, then to 42 once again. Um, just a mess with Bitcoin right now. But we like, we like the messes, everybody. Patrick says, sell the news. Huge correction coming before halving. I see what it is. Tian says, Bitcoin mega bull run come. What is it? We'll bring any coin along with it. Solana always recovers. Too expensive. It's a bad argument. You can buy the sad. <laughs> It's always a good time, of course, to get some Bitcoin here and there. Um, if you want to make financially free, uh, you know, money, there's obviously the outcomes that are going to give you those opportunities because that's what I'm looking at, everybody. I want those opportunities for me and the future. And Bitcoin right now, it's remained steady. But the cryptos, those are the ones that are kind of giving us some more things to say. Now, in this case, speculation is steering within the crypto industry right now regarding the anticipation of the Bitcoin ETFs. ARK Invest awaits a decision on Wednesday, too. So they also they, you know, are looking into a decision on Wednesday similar to BlackRock. So denial, potential of approval of denial. I mean, at this point, I've been saying it for a while. Why would they even get denied? Makes no sense. They already have everything. The SEC already has everything. They shouldn't get denied. They shouldn't get denied. There's all kinds of prediction, but one analyst questioning the, you know, the rationale behind the people shorting Bitcoin before the decision. That's another one, right? A lot of people are gonna be regretting if they short and we have a massive gut candlestick. Oh man, that will be so amazing to watch because I think we much deserve it, man. We much deserve it for a long, 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 long time. If these asset managers put just 3% of assets under management in Bitcoin, then that will be 25 plus percent of all of the Bitcoin at current rate. It's going to pump. Christopher, you're right, because they are worth trillions of dollars, meaning that, I mean, even if it's a small percentage, that's still a lot of money. And if you go to the, you know, to the market cap of the crypto market, we're barely 1.63 trillion. That's the entire market as a whole. What does that mean? That, I mean, didn't we know? And I think Watch a Guru, um, yeah, they're, they're the ones who, who talked about it too as well. Let me see if I can find it. No, uh, it wasn't Watch a Guru, but basically Black, BlackRock already has, BlackRock already has some positions that I've been saying, right? So in queue, like people are looking forward to getting on board. I mean, it's basically a mess. And uh, it's a good mess for all of us because we want our, our very cheap Bitcoin to buy it previously so we can multiply it very fast and easy. And it's going to be for all of us, guys. That's exactly what it is. I'm going to go to the bubbles and see how, how we're bleeding. I'll do this one here. Bubbles out. And on this one, boom. And this. Super fast. And we got it. Because I always like to see how things relate to one another and easily, guys, you could see. I'm going to put in the price of Bitcoin on one side and in the day. Corgi AI. 
Where is the cruel fan in the house? Because good news, the top 100 cryptos, Corgi AI is leading in no way, dude. That is really crazy. <laughs> Corgi AI, hey, for that we need to celebrate. And I know how. I know how we can easily do that. Just like this. With the tunes, guys. With the tunes, of course. This is the last 24 hours in Kronos League. Exactly the way I like it. Hmm. X. Or the AI and GMT. That's it. That's it. Bunch of red prior to the approval. It's only January. No worries here. Absolutely no worries here, everybody. But it's always good to be ready and prepared. To everybody holding Crypto.com Kronos or liking Crypto.com brand. And join the Kronos ecosystem. Join the one dollar crow party group right now. Link down below. We're welcoming everyone. All pro, 100% focused. Reaching a thousand members soon. I'm really excited to provide that ecosystem that we desperately need, guys. For sure. <clears throat> Oof. Yes. Do you think it's smart to sell off some pro before halving them buying back after drop prices again? Assuming pro will be at a good price to sell. Risky as always, JWE. Chronos, cheap Chronos. I see it right now. Cheap Chronos, I see it right now. That's not bad. Weekly. Boom. Always good to celebrate with those tunes, guys. As always, as we wait, I think it's going to be a fantastic week for a lot of people. And that's why we got to stay strong at the end of the day. We always got to stay strong, especially in this time. So when I see my NFT and my crypto portfolio, uh, very bloody, right? It is what it is. This is a week for us. In the weekly, we see two digit negative for a lot of different cryptos, most of them. Because the accumulation phase is here and because we are primed to rise into an upcoming bull market, I'm really not worried of the volatility that we may have. I'm looking forward, right, to see this place rally once again in this. And I mean, it's just soon to be occurring. In the last month, these are the positions that are just seeing tremendous gains right now. And wow, Corgi AI so far, SATS. Osmo, I'm saying, guys, a lot of people made a bunch of money. Now, the thing is, those red cryptos, those are the ones who are probably going to do the comeback as well, just as, and I have it right here, what I just showed you a couple of minutes ago, right here, this one. This one should be the one to decide how these red bubbles are going to be changing, but we need to be waiting for the large caps Phase three and phase four. That's what I'm waiting for. And it's taking a toll. It's taking a while. In the meantime, accumulating will be the best choice for us to for us to do it, right? For sure. <clears throat> What's going on, Mark? Good to see you. Appreciate it, Daisy. Thanks for the note. Of course, John is here. Francisco as well. Loving it. This is the, that's the idea, guys. And it's going to be, I think, pretty spectacular to uh, witness. Bitcoin rainbow chart, as we're waiting for the prices, which are crashing, consolidating, and selling off. That's a weird trio, but that's really what's going on right now. Go ahead and show you guys what's really going on right here. This is it. We're this close of the Bitcoin halving. The price right now is in the accumulate. It's still cheap and buy. Whatever happens in the upcoming days, we're either going still cheap or buy. Those are the three we're going to be visiting in the few 
and upcoming days in this new week. That's what I'll tell you. So for our, you know, for the purposes of Bitcoin, should be looking at the following. I'll go to the one day. So I think that looks a little bit better. There's a lot of different things here that I have. I have two different ranges and I want to see this occur if possible. So this one and this one, depending on the situation that we're going to witness, right? In my personal opinion, I'll go ahead and make some notes here. This one has a 75% of happening, which is the pump. This one has the rest, right? The rest percentage happening. Now, I'll tell you why. This is going to be for Bitcoin at 13, 14% and easily about 10%, which sounds really reasonable. I think this is great. And that's going to give me the still cheap on buy territories. I'm literally telling you, it's not going to stay the same. It is not going to stay the same. Forget about it. Bitcoin is not staying the same. Crypto is not staying the same after this week. So what do I see? If we get an approval, at least one 75% chance that happens, we go through $50,000. I see absolutely I see no problem with that. $50,000, guys, and that's going to happen. If we get denied in our first round, not getting an approval, but if the first answer from the SEC is a denial, I'm looking into a $38,000, $39,000 Bitcoin. We're going to be breaking, you know, crashing fast and furious all the way to to the 40s and then 30s, high 30s. That's what I'm looking at right now. That's definitely more opportunities for us to dollar cost average, right? XRP, I'll take a look at XRP, of course. Um, eh, Not much, just a little bit, but not really. Go back here to the price. So... Price of Bitcoin is not going to stay the same at 43, 44,000. That I just know you, it just won't happen. That will put me in a still cheap and buy. And if it's right here, the right answer will be DCA short term. DCA short term. That will be my position right here. And for here it will be profit taking. That will be quick. Because it could be that we, after that, after that chance, more sellers can come later on. So I'll explain this to strategies because obviously there's a lot of people who want to know exactly what to do. First and foremost, we get approved. Our first asset manager with the Bitcoin ETF application gets approved. That's easily going to be $50,000 bomb. Everybody's going to be talking about it. PDS are going to be flying away. Lives are going to be flying away. Uh, quick uh, shorts, everything. The whole world is going to be talking about it. The first reaction price will be at least 10%, then 15, maybe 20% even. You're talking $50,000, right? But if we get a first denial response, that easily is going to break us down under 40 and then go to 30,000. So what do we do? I'm not going to sell, obviously. Why would I sell? What I'm going to do is, okay, I know that was the reaction of a market that is watching 24-7. That is an amazing price to DCA because it doesn't mean that out of all the 12, they're all going to get rejected and denied. It just means that the first one wasn't that lucky enough. If they go one by one, if they go one by one, they can just give us a list of all of them that, that they're approved and that's it. It really depends. But if they're going by uh, one by one, here, DCA, $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, $500, because after that crash, there's a high possibility of a quick rejection of all the bots 
and buy orders people are going to make. And that one can always, you know, have a nice rejection to the upside. Conversely, we get an approval pump to the moon, quick take, quick profit taken, because you know it's not going to just continue going higher all the way to $60,000, $70,000, but it will pass fifty dollars and stay in fifty, dollars and then at that time, we'll of course have some sell-offs, massive sell-offs, because they're all waiting for this news to happen, and that's it. Over 381 votes. We over 300 people watching. Don't forget to smash the like button, everybody, and consider subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Sunday night live with Oscar Ramos. And I'm really getting ready and excited for what's to come, guys. And hey, we are here when it's bloody in the streets. We are here when it's nicely and beefy. We don't hide from anything, guys. We're always kind of like looking out and seeing like what in the world is going to happen. Shouldn't, shouldn't be a better time than this one, that I can tell you. There's a lot of news, there's a lot of updates, and I'm just looking at everything. So that's what I can tell you from my own predictions. Where are my glasses? There you go. That's what I can tell you guys from where I see things going on. Um, and right before those denials of approvals, we can have some sell-offs like we're seeing just right now. And oh, man. It's going to be hard to swallow them because I think all of us are just tired, you know, are just tired at this point of just waiting. We got the first super chat of the nine. What is going on? 100 guy. Happy to see you here. Is there a way to find out that before the market crashes, will it be announced or the news somewhere immediately? The first ones to hear will get in out in time. Actually, I'm going to. I want to expand on that because I think that's a great question. Um, and I'll tell you what I believe it could happen, right? Uh, thank you very much. Justin, if the SEC approves spot Bitcoin ETFs, they could start trading as soon as the next business day. Look at that. Getting more news right here. And I'm telling you right now in the um, on the screen, what's going to happen is that um, the SEC is going to send obviously, a document, a paper, a press release announcing all of this news. Um, are they going to give a batch approval? Are it going to be individual approvals? I don't know. Uh, but whichever they are, if it's a batch approval, it's going to carry way more weight than if, it's, than if it's just an individual. But we're only waiting on one individual approval to get this set off on fire. You will have to be looking at your screen either for the massive green candles the massive red candles or just the breaking news from somewhere else telling you what happened right i'll be doing the best i can next week of course because i think we're gonna have some news mega news on wednesday that's the day that ark invest and blackrock so far they've given us haven't seen other different asset managers do the same but we have two the biggest one, BlackRock, is the one giving us Wednesday. So we still have a few days left. That's why I'm saying get in before because things can change really, really crazy. Now, take a look at this. The U.S. ranks 12th among countries most interested in Bitcoin ETFs. So Different countries like the ETFs, and we see other ones, especially in Europe, that love that. And the U.S. is right position 12, so it's not even in the top one, the top five, which is pretty crazy, right? It's exciting. For Bitcoin, ransomware attacks will not exist. This is a fact. So it's a lot of people waiting. Bitcoin deep, really rooted in innovation. So I always like to see, guys, how and when... You know, the community is just getting ready for what's to come for us in the future when it comes to these decisions of the Bitcoin ETF. A lot of people are buying. A lot of people are getting excited and ready. And that's good. And I, of course, love to see all of the crowdfund posting, crypto rubber and all, all, you know, other different things, especially when it comes to the decisions of Bitcoin ETF. And right now, let's go ahead and take a look at, oof, because... Bunch of a bunch of different tokens, everybody, that allow us to have financial freedom, especially those in Alcon territory that are not Bitcoin level 
that are not already listed on major exchanges that are not even burning yet. Those are the ones that, oh man, I'm just so ready and expecting <laughs> too much from them. <clears throat> ETF approval is likely, you know, and China flu, it's so over them. Got it. It's either going to super crash or super pump after decisions are made. Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's um, it's going to be a choice for all of us to just make quick grabs. Um, that's one of the best way to um, take this one, because long term, we are going to be making a lot of money, of course, from all the different cryptos that you and I have been buying in the last two and last year. Easy. But right now, there's also going to be quick trading, a lot of sell-offs and futures, and um, especially in crypto.com, you know, when it comes to the strike options, those are the ones that are going to make the most sense for you and me. So <laughs> do not waste any more time and have some cash on hand, guys, for sure. Have some cash on hand. That will be amazing to witness at the end of the day. So... Really exciting things. Go ahead and put in the price of Bitcoin. I'm going to go ahead and take a look, guys, at even tokens that are just right now selling up really nicely. Pepecoin is one of them. LUNC is one of them right now. Oh, where's the $1 in 88 days or so? Ain't happening, right? Because of all the burns, proposals, failures, and this and that. Binance burning and so. It's just not happening. And it is what it is, guys. It is what you take. XRP community, XRP army watching, made some couple of videos, grayscale, right? Adding it back into the fund. Not doing much yet. It's 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 fine. I mean, Binance was $300 in 20 and 37 uh the last couple of days and weeks. Look at it right now. Still enough and it looks like it kind of wants to go even lower because it is Kind of like what we have to be expecting Solana to crashing a little bit down to, which it happens all across the board. So let's go ahead, put on the bubbles, take a look at some altcoins. The weekly, it's been still enough right now. It's red, red all over. I'm going to let you guys enjoy that with me. Look, h and remember how it was pumping a lot? Um, now, AVX, FTT was doing really well. Shiba Inu, you know, that's just the last week, the last hour. These are some of the biggest losers. And look at who I see there. Kronos at eight. But what? It's already eight four? No. Oh, man. Oh, that one hurt. Actually, there's another exchange token, Leo. That's also down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at Kronos go down, guys. Where's the crow fam? Are you watching? <laughs> Don't forget to smash the like button, everybody. So everyone here on YouTube sees what we have to be holding all across the board. <clears throat> ETF approval likely to happen. Do you know? Do you think everything is going to pump or altcoins? Majorly, right now, Bitcoin is the one that's going to be doing extremely well. Bitcoin, period. That's the one that's going to be doing really well. I show you the chart after Bitcoin goes Ethereum, after Ethereum go major altcoins. That's just what it is, right? It is just what it is, guys. And let me go ahead and give you this, everyone. Hmm. Join and come to the Crow Fam link right there for the Telegram. If you need a community to Keep you in check so you're strong you're holding. Join right now if you got an account. And welcome aboard. Burger, I'm getting myself a drink. Let's go. Similar right here. So big sell-off right now happening. Big sell-off right now happening, especially in altcoins in the last day right now and in the weekly. The only one today that is actually putting some great numbers is Corgi AI in Kronos, which is really good to see. Let's go ahead and see that nice, nice chart over there. So I'm going to see it very soon. There it is. So where is Corgi? There you go. 11%. Look at that. It's not selling off. <laughs> it always happens. 
This is what a market brings, you guys. The volatility, the redness everywhere right now. Yes, we're still holding AMP token, of course. Still holding that one. Not selling AMP token. I'm still just staking and giving me more AMP token little by little by little, guys. Author says XRP, Crow, Solana, Ethereum, your top four investments. Let's go, guys. That's exactly that's exactly right. You're waiting for Crow to hit between seven to eight cents to add more to your bag. That's not a bad idea. I added right here at 10 cents. Right here early. And look at what has happened right now. My pr my price has gone about 20 the percent down. So Obviously not the not the best way of um, starting the year, especially with that position. But just chilling right there. It's gonna all go to staking. It's all gonna go to creating more passive income. So no rush at all. I, I've waited enough from five cents all the way to ten cents. I can continue waiting. That is not a problem. But you see how whales and holders are looking into getting into Bitcoin and that's so easy to understand because it hasn't really moved down a lot. Just got to be holding. That's what it is. Got to be holding in this case as Bitcoin from 45, 43. So like I mentioned, we're looking into these two scenarios at 20, 75% and, and the rest, right? 25%. So it's really a matter of choice for our approval. Once that happens, boom, we skyrocket and we say goodbye to all the FUDs. Even Gala, look at Gala too. I know some of you guys hold Gala. We're seeing some major retracements on the gaming sector. Major retracement. JB in the house. Welcome, buddy. Happy to see you. Hmm. Pro price doesn't matter since most of us are in day trading. It will be a different story in the coming months. You're right, JWE. But I always like to tell it to you like it is, right? We don't hide from the bad crashing prices at all. It's just what it is, guys. METF finally kind of decided to stop um, for the hour, but we'll see if this one continues sell enough. What's going on, Z? Appreciate your kind donation. Hey, Oscar, do you know any information about cross-scribing on the DeFi wallet? Awesome content as always. Thank you very much. Appreciate that a lot. No, I do not know much. I know it's a name that's been thrown around a lot. I'll have to do my due diligence, but I haven't paid too much attention on that. Please go ahead and let me know here what's the uh, what's going on. So I quickly connect the dots. Z, thank you so much. Appreciate that a lot. I see the crow farm coming in. Love that. That's exactly what we like. LUNC also selling up. So a lot of the positions that we have made in the last couple of weeks, in the last couple of months, um, really, they, there's no reason why they will sell off other than they're just making room for Bitcoin to ro grow. But eventually, it will take some time for them just to go up once again. And that's it. That's really the idea. See the native. Appreciate that one, buddy. It's really, really awesome. It's all going to take its time little by little for Shiba Inu adding another zero. And look, it's another opportunity to go even lower, but a burn might help. And that's one of the things I was mentioning in my previous video, considering burning for the Shiba Inu team can help. Look at Bonk just added another zero. What is it? Five zeros now. So... From four zeros three six, which did really well, and everybody was like, "Are you kidding me?" I bought just like thirty dollars of bonk, not much right there, because I knew it was super overbought. So just to give you an idea what the price was, and also what the price is for METF, like look at all of these tokens that exploded massively. Like always, they cannot run forever. I'm showing you two that we talked in the channel. They cannot run forever. So you have to understand when to get out. And that is the same. That is the same idea for this upcoming Bitcoin ETF. Approval. Why? Once it's approved, it's going to go high. How high? I gave you my estimate. 15%. $50,000. It will not hold it. Because it's going to continue either higher 
or start selling up, selling up a little bit. And fifty thousand dollar massive gut candle is a lot uh, to start, but because then you just have nineteen thousand dollars left to the Bitcoin all time high. So I think if we go to fifty thousand dollars, that's a lot of mass fifteen percent. That's just crazy. Um, that could be a decent level for whales to decide to start selling, given the fact that MicroStrategy and other billionaires, Michael Saylor, they bought at 30s, at 20s, at 40s. That level 50,000 will be one that I think all of them will be watching closely, guys. Very, very closely. Corgi looks like a cup and handle trying to form. Just to show you guys what's going on right now. And it is the, the situations we're living in. Look at the year. In the last year, all of them, a lot of people are still really rich. Millionaires made. This is the year in 2023. That's not even a bull market yet. And some altcoins that came out of nowhere made a lot of rich people. Here's the deal. Most of us and most people are not holding these altcoins. They're holding the classic top 100 already, top 50 altcoins, right? You're talking your Ethereum, your XRP, your Cardano, your Shiba Inu. They're not here yet. Solana is one that an ICP that got in really nice because, well, especially Solana because of FTX. Well, other than that, we're not seeing that. And Bitcoin is still at 150%. Fabulous return, fabulous return. So last month, complete turn of events. Now, Corgi AI, Sats, and Osmo, the last week, once again, things changing. So it's all going to be very special, guys, for all of us. That's what I can tell you. <laughs> no plans to sell, no matter what, five years from now. Who knows? Just holding strong to your beliefs, guys, and that's basically what's going to Save us from a lot of different, you know, dumb decisions because, I mean, panicking happens. Look at FTX. It was at five bucks. Now it's at two dollars. So the way I see things, we had a nice outcome rally, but they're all just cashing out, selling bad. And that's what's going on. And we're seeing the sell off, clear sell off right now. I mean, immediate, immediate sell-offs from people that are just finally exiting the market as they know that this upcoming week is what everybody's expecting and they don't want it to be what everybody wants, a massive pump. But with a nice, I mean, it's like if they knew that it's going to get rejected or if it's going to get delayed. Those are the two ones, guys. Delay is worse. Delayed is worse. Now, why do you think that is? Because there's already a lot of speculation and a lot of decisions made. Um, we need a decision no matter what. But if it's delayed to another month or so, then that indicates that the SEC is just not taking this seriously. And um, still, there's just no plans for this financial part of the of the industry and and that is not really what asset managers are looking for not that treatment so that's what i could tell you right now mm -mm. hey oscar do you think am token can hit 10 cents once again because it was 12 it's a long way bro it's a long way mm -mm. we're gonna look into h bar that's really nice Arcus you should not mislead people of course we're not misleading people rishi Moments like this, you have to maintain your conviction and continue with your plan to DCA. Don't fear the markets will recover. Francisco, of course. Look, I always like to be when it's red and bloody, like today, because it's hard to convince people. And I'm not trying to convince anyone, right? Absolutely. I mean, I only try to convince myself, but it's hard to convince people to just chill because... They want to justify their losses to whoever they see first instead of themselves. And that is one of the biggest lessons in crypto. It's a lot of, there's a lot of choices and uh, bad, you know, decisions, but 
You just have to take them, especially right now as we are primed to see a majestic uh, bull market that a lot of people are saying it's going to be bigger than anybody has seen just because, of course, of the decisions of the Bitcoin ETF. It is going to be exciting, guys. That's what I can tell you. So if you believe that, then join me in the nice and awesome tunes because I'm so ready. <clears throat> I'm so ready and I'm super happy, guys, that everybody's here watching and join, getting ready. We'll wake up tomorrow and most of us are not going to be even able. Once we start hearing the first decisions, that's it. That's it, guys. Just get ready with me for uh, some really nice volatility. Oh, yes. Let's go closer here in Bitcoin. Do the one hour. And open up here. Price seems a little bit, you know, down for the last couple of hours as well. So always taking whatever we take, we have. There you go. Price of Kronos was 8.4. Oh my. Oh! Look at this! Call the ambulance! Call the ambulance right now! Oh my! Go ahead and send all the red blood. Look at this. Go ahead and go ahead and spam it guys you can spam it right now spam that blood on the street it's happy <laughs> wow crazy stuff still not selling wow who wanted cheap chronos who wanted cheap chronos FTT is also crashing right now, selling off. It's, I mean, a lot of things are selling off right now. Am Token is selling off right now. Yeah, I think one of the biggest one is Am, Bonk, Gala. A bunch of them selling off right now. Look at this. Shiba Inu. A bunch of sellers, guys. We like it. Huh. You bought earlier today, you should have waited. I bought about a week ago, bro. Imagine how you feel. It's fine, guys, it's fine. Give me, give me the heart, just DCM wave. You wanted these prices, you wanted some cheap prices, there you have it. There you go, we got the tunes, guys, we got the tunes. Wow. Go ahead and bring this here. It's dense. So it was 89 and then just all of a sudden sell. It makes total sense. Usually on Sundays that, that happens. We have some type of retracements. So the top uh, tokens that are going down right now, a star, Terra Luna Classic is about to add a zero. Terra Luna Classic is about to add a zero. Are you kidding me? Quant. Quant was 160, right? Got all the, well, 150. 150 bucks. Now it's 100. Like, there's a lot of massive nice sell-offs right now. There's a lot of deals, guys. Deals. There's a lot of deals right now. Do not waste the chance. Do not waste the chance for some massive big deals right now. Because I know my, my I main crow from maybe you're watching, guys. This is probably the time that you've been waiting for. These deals. Look at this. 13% down the last seven days. My gosh. That is some tough craft to watch. But remember. We were at the four or five cent at the end, close to the end of 2023. We need a nice rally. Oh man. Shiba, ooh, Shiba Inu. I mean, you are selling off 
bad shit, man. We are selling, you're, you're, you're giving us some deals that, ooh, you, you. It's probably one of the reasons that METF collapsed really nice right now. Because whales were already seeing it, we're already smelling it. And they're like, you know what? I'm out. I don't want to be dealing with a lot of speculation. And Corgi AI, it's already selling off as well. We're selling off everywhere from all the angles right now. From all the angles we're selling up right now. <laughs> Everything is red. Just another day. Absolutely. Just another day. Former BitMax chief predicts 30% Bitcoin correction warns spot Bitcoin ETF could make it worse. Ah, uh, yes. These are the type of headlines that I love. Let me tell you something, guys. These are the type of headlines that they want us to sell before the massive rally. Sometimes you have to do the total opposite from the headlines. Sometimes, honestly. But look at this. What is winning with 595 votes? Jess and Pump is winning. We know it's going to get approved. Why is it selling off? There's the last chance for people to cash in on the paper hands. That's basically what it is. The last chance. You we'll give them the chance. They're playing games, of course. They're playing games. You get a huge bag of Corgi. Very bullish still. Still hits 2016 and buying more. Tomorrow will pink up again. Always the case. I think we're going to have a much better day tomorrow. But right now, it's just deals all over. I don't even want to check my portfolios right now. I don't want to open up my phone right now. I don't want to check any portfolios right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's not going to help your sanity, right? Just let it be. If you already have some exit strategies, then respect those exit strategies. But if not, then just continue adding DCA in the positions that you know are going to be fine. Oof. Look at that. What's going on, Terra Luna Classic? Are you scared right now? Are you? Because it does look like that. Look at that blood. I mean, I'm just going to stay here, guys, with you. You know the updates. You know what's going on. And you know the best thing? That Bitcoin dominance is going high. That tells you everything you need to know. Bitcoin dominance goes high and higher and higher and higher. While altcoins are crashing and going down, that makes total sense. They have an inverse relationship, right? As altcoins go higher, Bitcoin dominance goes down, goes lower. There's a lot of Bitcoin focus right here. And it totally makes sense with the chart that I've been sharing you guys. Right? Hmm. We're in the first phase right now. Close money moves into Bitcoin causing the price surges. That's basically what's going on right now. So we're starting. We're starting the cycle. Little by little. Which is really good for all of us. That's what I, what I wanted to witness. What I wanted to experience for all of us, everybody. And I'm so ready and pumped. That I, little by little. You're going to be adding some nice positions, guys. Hmm. Because we see across the board. I think this one is going to continue selling off. I mean, I don't see this one stopping selling. This one is going to continue giving us some blood. So just in case. Oh, yes, there it is. There's a rejection right now in the 15 minutes. But I'm going to leave it in the one hour and see if we can catch another nice, massive um, red candlestick. That'll be pretty crazy to watch. Even Binance too. At 293. The collapse was 286. So yeah, even Binance. So people been buying Binance at 320. They're now super down right now. I don't feel that bad, honestly. I don't feel that bad. I feel okay. I feel decent. Because everything is really cashing out. And then uh, this is really when you are like, well, am I supposed to sell? Not really. Hmm. Scare money, don't make money. Let's go ahead and pin that, of course. Deputy Dog, how you doing, buddy? Happy to see you. Happy to see you. 
If you're enjoying the live stream with everybody, Sunday night live with Oscar Ramos, give us a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notification bells as we are letting everybody know what's really going on. And um, not scared, guys. Absolutely not scared. That's why we're here. To all the newcomers, this isn't bad. And buying when it feels uncomfortable is how you get rich. What's, what's the thing I always say, right? Bloody on the streets. You got to buy when it's bloody on the streets, when it's uncomfortable, right? And I think, Brandon, you really, really nailed that, right? Perfectly. Crypto rule number four. No family drama means your spouse, children, etc. <laughs> mm. All what you have, max out your cash, advance the cards, and buy all you can. We're going to the moon. <laughs> If whales and Bitcoin billionaires are getting in, why wouldn't we? It's another one that I've been saying quite often. We need to be prepared and just stay ahead of the game. Because as of right now, there's a lot of this different speculation that I love. Go ahead and get to uh, crypto. Because this is the crashing that I was waiting for right now. Crashing, crashing. <clears throat> Take a look at this. All the Bitcoin ETF applicants are feeling updated. Yes, we know that. The SEC has now said it has no additional feedback. The window approval remains between the 8th and the 10th of January, as per Bloomberg's. So the 8th is this week to the 10. So guys, yeah, starting this Monday to the 10 when BlackRock, right? I mean, that's really what it is. So much going on. So many good news for all of us about to be happening, guys. So exciting times are ahead. That's what I can tell you. <clears throat> Thank you, JB. You want to join the crow fam one dollar crow party group completely free and all you have to do is stay put and share the good value with crow that's it thank you for your hell i see you youtube channel all the time i appreciate that man b thanks a lot really the what we want to bring is awareness because um oh look at that Bitcoin sell enough. Oh man, they just don't want us to win. They don't want retail investors to win. These are all the classic whales because those massive sell offs are not made by retail investors since right now we're just waiting. They're made by the manipulators. They are made by the manipulators. All the Bitcoin manipulators are not giving us what we want. When the Bitcoin ETF gets approved, everybody gonna be like, finally, peace. BlackRock has lined up 2 billion in assets in prep for the spot Bitcoin ETF. Yeah, that's what, that's what I've been telling you for a while as well, right? <laughs> gonna be something pretty special for all of us, guys. I saw this picture and I'm like, okay, what do you think? Do you agree with this picture? That the crypto ecosystem is that and cardano holders are just not even on the same foundation what do you think mm. riddle misses the boat though the institutions miss the boat they'll bring back the boat hey oscar can you check l and c yeah i saw it bro oh man bitcoin is also going down now right now let's go to the 15 minutes yes everything is actually going okay then Get the Vaseline, guys. Get the Vaseline. Yes. Bonk. Just lost the zero. There it is. Just lost the zero right now. I was, we were talking about Bonk just a couple minutes ago and just lost it. Boom. There it is. Goodbye, Bonk. Welcome to the five series once again. Ala. Everything is 
going very nicely down. Look at LUNC. Very close to adding a 0 to LUNC. You were talking about LUNC. LUNC is very close to adding 0 to right now. Hmm. I have baby oil. <laughs> baby oil, Vaseline, whatever. I mean, just get it, bro, because we'll need it. We're going to need it, guys. Get it as soon as possible. I need double, double portion right now. Look at this. Crazy stuff, everybody. <laughs> yes, guys, it's gonna be tough. Go ahead and get the Bitcoin ETF. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. Super bloody week, guys. Super bloody week that we're seeing, you know, lately. And it kind of happens. I mean, as always. That's what I would ex that's what I would expect from a Bitcoin ETF approval week. Oh baby, send it. Oh, I want to stay with Bitcoin for a while because things are not looking sharp and I love it. Let's do this. Oh. Okay. Bring it. Bring the pain. Bring the pain to us. Let's go to the uh, 30 minutes right now. Guys, welcome to the sell off stream. And I name it perfectly for this one, huh? I named it perfectly for this one. We're selling off. I'm not clickbaiting at all. We're selling off really nice. Huh. Is there still someone who sells three days before the approval of the ETFs? Because they want to scare people, guys. They want to scare you. Oh, man. So we haven't even received a news yet. And my 25% prediction, it's turning, it's turning closer and closer, guys. 75% prediction, 25% prediction. I've said it, right? 75% that we get approved. Look at what's going on right now. Cryptos are selling off really nice. We are at the 1.62 trillion right now. We just lost 400. What is it? Yeah, we, we just lost uh, about 40, 40 billion dollars. Yes, 40 billion dollars. We lost $40 billion right now. Just in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Crazy stuff. <laughs> so much money. Lost insane. Mm -mm. You can handle the big drops. You don't deserve the big gains. Let's go ahead and replace that comment. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Give it all the positive vibes right now. Give it all the positive vibes right now because we need all those positive vibes, everybody. It is just what it is. Man, exciting. A big shout out. I'm going to put it here. To everybody who's watching from the $1 Crow Party. It's a group that I created with the only purpose of helping people, with the only purpose of bringing awareness to crypto, to Kronos, to a very special crypto exchange. And if you're there, guys, we're doing something big. We have our leadership group right here. Only eight people uh, are here. And I want to give a shout out to JB, Mike, um, Albert, Josh, and many more. Shane, and many more, many, many, many more. I mean, really great people i mean we're all doing it not getting paid a dime because i told them guys your responses are helping people this is not financial advice but you're helping rookies get answers faster than who than who and the customer service at crypto.com that we always and you guys always complain <laughs> am i right Am I, I mean, I'm, I'm right. I know I'm right. So big shout out, guys, to. <laughs> this is so funny. I, I, send some help. 
were crashing. So, yes, everybody. It is fun. It is exciting. So, very, very, very good news for all of us. Await. Very, very good news for us. Await. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the projects. Oh, man. Send help. Blood on the streets. Blood on the streets happening, guys. I also have this emoji. The diamond hands emoji. And I'll send it to you right now. Appreciate it, General. Hit the like button, of course. Thank you. Mmm. Oh, man. Crazy times that we live here, guys. For all of us. Crazy times. Exactly what we're here for. We got all this sell of cryptos. Um, I'm talking absolutely getting demolished. And it makes... C oh, uh, Pepe also going bad. Solana just went lower. Ethereum lost the 2300. Of course, not 2100. A lot of so this is exactly what it means to be a crypto holder at the end of the day. This is exactly what it means to be a crypto holder. And we don't want to miss it for anything, everybody. We don't want to miss it for anything. Mm -mm. Let's go with this massive tombs, everybody. Welcome to the new 500 members watching Oscar Rambles in the chat. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. How's everybody doing? We need this. Somebody told you about this Sunday Night Live? You just found us. You're a subscriber. You're a member. Whoever you are. Remember what I tell you on getting when it's all nice and pumping. I tell you, go with all your DCA might when it's bloody in the streets. And it doesn't make sense when people relinquish, when it's ugly. That's when we come. That's when you turn on the yes. I did it at 10 cents scroll because last week was what people were saying but it's gonna be this one and those two cents that i'm losing right now on crow is not gonna be anything compared to the one dollar crow that i'm gonna get eventually you see i'm not getting tickled by these two cents that i'm losing i'm looking at the one dollar crow right now we're gonna be rich very rich guys so much manipulation but we're fearless of course absolutely everybody should be fine at the end of the day it should be fine not scared at all it is just what we have to go through that's it what we have to go through at the end of the day and it's exciting to me it's exciting because at least something's happening people are making choices and choices are being made for all of us to do to do something with it i was looking for this one thankfully crypto rover has it for me so watch this out with me that's it now this is an old one but basically says that 11 spot Bitcoin ETF, you have to add another one. I mean, you have to, you know, take in consideration many of them, over 10 of them, over 10 of them, guys. All of them are going to be very close to giving us amazing surprises. Hmm. redness right now all over especially for Kronos right now for the community and it is what's going on 
you got the money on LUNC, Bonk and Pepe for now. Let's go to the moon. You said it, another 1K crow. You did it. You're not even waiting for anybody. You're just going for it. Loving it. You know, it's always better to buy in on cryptos that you know are mean something and have tremendous value to crypto investors because of the communities and the cryptos they represent. FOMO starts tomorrow. FOMO is starting right now because people are going in while it's down. Now, let me tell you something. This is not going to compare if we get rejected. It's not going to compare if we get rejected, guys, because if we get rejected tomorrow, at least one, the first one, oh, man. I am not going to believe the redness and the red candlesticks that we are going to see. It's going to be inconceivable. But that's also part of the process, you know? Part of this, at the end of the day, the Bitcoin here, I have two. Now on this one, oh man. XRP is staying steady, which is nice to see, nice to watch. Even Dogecoin as well coming down too. Bonk also doing a big number. Go ahead and see. Hmm. We have Siakon stacks. Here's when you know. Here's when you know markets are flipping. When you have as the top gainers stable coins. Here's when you know. One, two, three, four. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six stable coins in the top gainers. That's when you know things are getting real. Manipulation is happening and sell offs all over the place. Six of them, everybody. So the biggest loser right now is a star. Which is this one on Binance. Oh, look at this sell of nicely one. Oh, now, I don't know. I don't have this one, but I just want to show you guys what it's doing right now. Big, 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 big sell offs all over the place. Let's go ahead and bring the price range. And this was just a few days ago. And today, a 40, 40% 40 or so sell off. So quick moving people are cashing out their positions and they're making their money. And that's it. They're leaving. Doge dead, Shiba Inu dead. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of them that are just crashing really nicely right now. And we like it. I mean, it's part of the progress, right? Of oh, the Bitcoin ETF approval. The thing is that now we have to make our gains and then pass the breaking even point uh, for some of us who are now holding in red hands. Moon Energy, I know, right? A couple of days away from the Bitcoin ETF and Alcons now they're getting destroyed. And the thing is that as we were waiting for this news, Alcons were rallying. Now we're seeing the reality, right? That for altcoins, it's becoming a buy the rumor, sell the news event. That's it. For altcoins, it's becoming a buy the rumor, sell the news event. <laughs> you don't trust this green candle, right? <laughs> you don't trust it at all. You're like, no, man. Checking Polygon, of course, buddy. What's Polygon doing? Uh, nasty. Polygon just sold up from one dollar to super sad. Sad? Did I say sad? It's exciting for the positions that you can make. Depends how you see it, guys. It all depends how you see it. Let's go ahead and bring all the updates and, and news as we're seeing some of the destruction that the market has and it's ready to give us. Hmm. The blood on the streets is happening and we love it. That's what I want to do, guys. Especially the time for Alcons to do something. Right now they're crashing. 
and I hope they continue as your DCA is going to become much stronger. I'll tell you, I'm watching everything right now for you. No listings can help right now. No listings. It's all going on. A lot of different liquidations going on. I'll tell you, for LUNC, this is going to help the tax burn, at least. All the sales that's happening on mines. Mm. All 60 days of prices you drop in the last 24 hours. Welcome to crypto. Welcome to crypto, guys. It is what it is. We got 900 votes. Guys, will the SEC approve Bitcoin ETF this week? Yes, I'm pumped. I think at this point we need that pump ASAP now. We need that pump ASAP. USDC for my Terra Luna Classic fam. Selling off really nicely. Everything right now is just like trying to collapse. Really nice. Guys, I thought really that a 10 cents was a great price for the upcoming, but you see, you see, like. Kronos was like, no, it is not going to be what you want. Boom. It's fine. It's fine. We can always have another rally like this. And from from the 8, now go to the 15, 13 cents. That's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm still up 17% on your moonlight position. That's good, buddy. That's liking it exactly what we want man hmm this is what you and i needed for all of our positions to make something for us if you wanted a time to buy here's the deal should we wait for tomorrow things can get much better tomorrow things can get much worse tomorrow are you greedy? Are you not greedy? Because if you're greedy, you will wait for tomorrow. If you're not greedy and just want to get in because it's time for you to make some money, then this is your time, right? And to be completely honest with you, I mean, the sell-offs you're seeing right now still are not as bad as we had at the beginning of 2023. So you're still fine. You're still up on, in some positions, honestly. You're still up. Mm. This is the last try to scare investors before the Bitcoin ETF approval. Like Grand Commission, what's going on, buddy? Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Mm -mm. Gonna be crazy, guys. But the sell-offs are here and they're making a stance. Hmm. Wow, that is crazy. People are watching, everybody. People are attending. People are seeing what is going on. Because now with the sell-offs, yep, they know that something is going on. And they are asking themselves, should I buy or sell? Well, I can tell you something. Selling right now is not an option. You don't want to be selling at a loss. That's the only piece of good news I have for you. I know what to do. And it is not selling at a loss. Period. Not selling at a loss. Despite the redness I'm already used to. And whatever happens, I'm just going to hold it regardless. Really, I'm not known by selling at a loss. One, because it's the, uh, this is the beginning of 2023. So you might be much better holding and waiting for the end of the year. Even, right? If uh, you can get some tax advantages right there, but too early for you to sell. That's for sure. <laughs> we need Kramer to come out and say Bitcoin is done. I know, dude. I completely agree with you. Where are you, Kramer? Where are you right now? We need you. This is the best time to get it now. And that's the video I made a couple hours ago. Getting now makes total sense. This is it. This is really it. Why 
to wait for greedy prices when you have amazing right now on the screen. Mm. Loving the community, loving the community. Let's go. Awesome. <laughs> no fear here. A lot of redness, everybody, and that's what we like. So, one hour and 25 minutes of excitement. And there's still a lot there, but I want to conserve my energy. I'll probably give you an update soon, but this week I got to be sharp. This week I got to be ready. I got to be at my fullest. So because of the volatility and what I think I know is probably going to happen. It's better for me to wait till I wake up tomorrow and see the devastation. That's basically what it is. I think that's what's going to be my best strategy right now. China, Asia, and all of the, you know, India and all of the Europe right now, they're waking up. They're making trades. They're, they're exciting. Right now, as we're about to head to bed, well, not many of us, right? Probably some of you are going are gonna to still chill here for a second and look at the prices. But don't panic, guys. We all should be fine. We've been here before. It's nothing um, that we have never experienced. Uh, if, you will, if, if, if you've been holding since 20, 2022, you know what I'm talking about. But this is just another day in crypto. Just another day in crypto. What is going on, Emily? Happy to see you here. Welcome, welcome. Love this Miami Vice retro tunes, of course. Thanks so much for that. I appreciate that a lot. We just passed 60,000 subscribers. We also passed 30,000 followers on Twitter. We're growing. And I want to say thank you for all of you guys supporting the channel. Take a look at the links down below. You can create your account on crypto.com right there. Also, Bing X up to $5,000 as you create it, deposit, and so uh, there's all kinds of things supporting the channel, joining the Patreon, which I've seen, you know, some people joining the Discord, questions and answers, that's for one-on-one -on -one with me, or the free Kronos Telegram as well. Um, you know, what I'm trying to do here with this channel and with this opportunity to have a platform is to um, share my story, like many other crypto channels do. Um, might be not as special, but... You make it unique. We make it unique, right? This is going to be a crazy, um, what is it? 24, 48, 72, 96, 100 plus hours. Um, I need all my energy. And right now, I'm going to get it. Tomorrow morning, I'll be here. Subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'll be here tomorrow morning and see how the war ended. This war that I'm talking right now, better or much worse? I'm gonna go ahead and close the poll with, did we get to a thousand? Did we get to a thousand? Oh, just three boats, can't believe it. Only three boats away for, three, for a thousand boats. That's not bad, that's not bad. So guys, don't say that I didn't tell you to load up or to get in. I literally made a video hours ago saying getting now because you know, it all looks bad, but then when are you going to do it? When it's all pumping to the moon, don't be like everybody else. Don't do that to yourself. Don't be like everybody else. All right? Fellow friends, thanks for watching. You know everything by now. Time for me to relax, chill. And if something big comes up, you will hear from me very, very soon. All right. Catch you later, everybody. I'll be on Discord and Telegram and so. I'll catch you next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to all the donors, to all the supporters, the watchers, the viewers, the subscribers, my mods, and everyone. Usually I go for one hour, but today a little bit more. Why not? Catch you in the next one, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm already shaking a little bit. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Should be fun. Peace. Let's go. Hmm.